hello youtube family welcome back to my channel <laughs> hey you guys welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel for all of my subscribers thank you so so much i love you guys dearest to my heart exo exo kisses i'm so happy to be growing my youtube channel growing my subscribers and i'm just happy that you guys like listening to my story time seeing my fashion seeing my makeup my hair etc because it's what i love 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 doing okay so as you can see today i'm all dressed up like a fairy yes 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 so this is actually a custom made top from my day harris line yes isn't it so cute i actually designed this top two years ago can you believe that and I never wore it and I plan on wearing it because it actually has a whole entire ensemble that goes with it but I uh, finally started working on the bottom for it because I did not know which direction I wanted to go and today I wore it for my fairy makeup because I I saw Doja Cat doing this makeup yesterday on her live and I was like I want to do this I want to do it so I just was like, let me just try something new. I never did anything like this before. So, how do you guys like it? I don't know. Let me know how you guys like it. I love it. It makes me feel so young and beautiful and princessy, which I love feeling. My room is pink. Everything I own is pink. Pink is life. Okay, you guys, yes, I'm coming back with another story time, okay? So, like I told you guys, I have stories for days, okay? I can write a whole entire book with the amount of sh I've been through, okay? But, today's story time, no bullshit, no bullshit. I'm not even drinking wine this time because my last Q&A, I was drinking honey culottas and I was a little lit and I could... When I was editing the footage, I was like, yo, you are lit. Like, I was drinking the whole night. My hair was frizzy. I looked lit, you know? So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the story time. I'm going to do it as sober as possible so I don't ramble on. Because I have a hard time keeping track of stories. Like, I remember bits and pieces. And then I'll be like, oh, yeah. This happened too. And oh, yeah. So, I don't like to tell stories like that because it gets confusing. So, I just was like, you know what? I'm not drinking today. I'm lying, I'm lying, it's apple juice, it's apple juice. It's just apple juice, you guys. So, um, yeah, so today's story time is very, very important because it's something that I really battle heavy with and it's my safety. Um, and it's taking a toll on my life. It's taking a toll on how I move, how I operate, how I just like go about. And, um, this type of situation that I've been in is like first place. I've had other scary situations, but this takes first place in this category. And, um, I think that I need to talk to you young ladies because I think that stuff like this unfortunately is just gonna get worse and worse and worse and it's very very sad okay so i just want to make sure that i like relay these stories to you guys that you know you don't end up in a situation like this because it's very 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 scary okay so let's jump right into the story okay so i'm from new york city so you know that's a city that never ever ever sleeps and um all the stores remain open, most of them, the bodegas, the corner stores, etc. And even some food restaurants. So that's why I'm saying that because you guys are probably going to be like, why were you out so late? So I went out around like 2, 3 in the morning to get food because my mom was hungry. I was hungry. And we lived next to this um, Jamaican food spot. That was kind of like a mixy little spot in the hood. Everybody would go there, especially after parties. You know, they're open late or whatever, whatnot. 
you know so it's the go-to spot to get food you could get you some festivals some then known for their jerk chicken um you get you even oxtail curry gold at all like all hours of the other night so it's like a hot spot so um now um it's something that I'm accustomed to doing. Like, I'm from this area, so moving around and moving about at a certain time wasn't scary for me because this is my hood, this is my neighborhood. So, um, I went out as usual. And usually, like, when... And usually, when I go out, I don't... I only dress like this when I'm going somewhere. You know, when I'm in a hood or I'm just like moving around i don't have makeup on i don't have much anything on i just throw on some sweats and regular clothes and i push out um but this night uh, i actually came from a party and so i was like all right let me go home first and then i actually just changed my clothes and then you know my hair was still out my makeup was still on and i went out to get the food so i get to peppers or whatever and there's usually a line which is not uncommon so i'm standing on line and there's this guy standing behind me on the line and he keeps trying to talk to me like yo ma yo ma and you know what's so crazy he's standing behind me on the line but he didn't he's standing behind me on the line because he didn't come inside of peppers until i came inside i felt like i saw him watching me from when i was across the street you know what i'm saying and he was staying i don't know if he was with the people who were standing out there like i said it's a mixy spot people hang out outside who knows if they're like buying food there's cars double parked outside it's just mixy so i felt like he was watching me and i felt like he tried to say something to me outside but because there was so many people of course i was going to keep it pushing anyways because i didn't come outside for that but there were so many people that i probably didn't hear so he came on he stood behind me in the line so the whole time whole entire time i am on this line this guy keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking in my motherfucking ear and i said first i started to ignore him but when he became very persistent i was like hey you know i'm not interested i'm just buying food or whatever because i try to always do that i always try to when a guy try to hit on me i always try to respond like the first time with ignoring that's my first response because usually they some understand ignoring some don't many don't okay so when that doesn't work i open my mouth and i say something because obviously you don't understand sign language so let me speak up you know so i'll tell them like yo you know i'm not interested or i'm not single or no thank you or whatever some of them are persistent and some of them keep it pushing this one he was motherfucking persistent like i didn't know if was he smelled like gold or what what it was but his persistence was like uncanny and i never experienced it to that degree before so um now i order my food i'm waiting for my food and this psychopath doesn't even order any food he doesn't even order nothing like what are you even doing here why are you here we are hungry and you're not hungry and you're pissing me off right now because you're bothering me and i just want some food so yeah he don't even he don't even order no food right still my ear still my ear still my ear still my ear so now i'm just ignoring 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 so and i'm walking home and i guess I guess I don't know maybe I gave a unclear indication that I wanted this man to follow me because that's exactly what he started to do was to follow me and I'm just like I got to the end of the block and I'm just like all right it's two in the morning I'm, I gotta walk through like two long dark 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 blocks three blocks to even get home just to take the shortest way and even if i don't take the shortest way i still gotta walk in the dark in between cut blocks to get home and this guy's following me right now i'm on the main road which is kind of empty still but i feel a little safer because it is the main road so i'm walking walking so now i ask him like you know i'm not interested you know you follow me to buy food you didn't even buy anything and i told you i'm not interested so i, I just want to walk home in peace and i don't want you to know where i live you know what i'm saying so how about you just like you know just give up or stop following me something just just leave me alone right now just because you're doing a lot and it's whatever i started to get an attitude because i started to get annoyed 
and frustrated mind you i'm hungry i'm a little hungover because i was drinking i went out and then i'm just trying to get home so now he's still persistent mind you i'm not even telling you anything that he's saying because i don't even remember what he was saying i don't know what type of game he was spitting the only thing i remember was the confrontation everything else is a blur everything else is blocked out because i wasn't trying to hear none of that anyways i'm trying to hear none of that nay what's so funny is that now that i remember he was dressed like i wouldn't say in a suit but he was dressed in an attire that he came from somewhere you know not so casual you know what i'm saying like he didn't he seemed like he was a street nigga the way he was talking but his attire wasn't like he came from somewhere that you know maybe an event that was more than just a hood event but he had to dress you know dress up a little bit so um i still didn't want him no still don't want you but um that's not even a point so now um we get to like a block and a half away from the food place and i'm like all right now nah, this is too much i'm like a half block away from having to turn into the cut blocks and he's not giving up so i'm not moving any further so i stop so he stops too so i'm like you know i i would like for you to stop following me he's like yeah but i'm just asking you for your number if you would have just stopped to listen you acting all stush and shit i'm just asking you for your number asking for your number and i'm just like yeah but i don't want to give you my number and you're getting me tight so i started mouthing off i'm a little fishy i know i got an attitude you know what i'm saying and anybody who knows me knows me i have an attitude and you know what's so crazy my mom and my cousin always tell me this like yo sarah like i understand you feisty but like especially when it comes to men and strangers nowadays you need to Watch your tone and watch how you speak to them because they will drop you in a second and run away and nobody will do nothing about it. There will be no consequences and you will be left in a fucked up ass position. So that just goes to to show you that that's, that's, that scenario made me like really take that into heed because I was moving in these streets on some like nigga try to talk to me like get out of here get breath stink. Get breath fucking stink. No it's hot. No. You got money? My dinero? The you got a car? Do you at least have a car? Do you drive? Do you drive? Do you drive? Dinero. Dinero. So, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how I be moving. I'm very, 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 very selective and very picky because I'm not out here looking like, well, you know, at that point I wasn't out there looking for nothing. And if I'm looking for. If I'm looking for something, like, you know, I know what I'm looking for. I'm not just going to talk to any guy that just, like, tries to hit on me. Like, that's that's not the flex. That's not the wave. So, um, now me and him start arguing. So, I'm like, then get the fuck out of my face. Leave me alone. Why are you following me? Blah, blah, blah. He like, bitch, what? Hey, bitch, what you said? I'm going in. This nigga start cursing me out. Bitch this. Bitch that. Fuck you. Fuck you. The bitch. Stuff like that don't phase me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know me. You don't know what I'm about. You don't know anything about me. So, uh, somebody can't curse me out in the street and make me tight. Like, you can call me all types of bitches. You call me anything you want. Like, I don't care. I don't know you. Like, like I don't... Even if I did know you, like... What the, would, you, would you drink any beers? He? He? He did something for me? No? I don't think so. So, I didn't give a... I didn't give a damn. Like, I just was upset off the heat that you kept following me and it was very 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 frustrating and i wanted to get home my food getting cold and shit who want to eat cold ass jerk chicken and you ever had a cold festival did you ever have a cold festival it's like it may it just it, it's just like it takes like the joy out of eating something fattening like if i'm gonna eat something fattening like let me fucking enjoy it 
but let me enjoy it. Let me eat it hot and crispy. Let me just enjoy it. Because I might get a jelly roll off of it, so let me just enjoy it. Now, me and him arguing, when I really start going in, like, look at you, you mad desperate. Like, you following a stranger home for their number. Like, you don't get no bitches. Like, what is your life about? Leave me alone. This nigga said, what? What? We was, we was on a, in a, in New York Street corners. There's, like, garbage, garbage cans on every corner. And, you know, the garbage cans be overflowing because, you know, it's just a high community of people throwing garbage in it. They only pick it up, like, what, once a day or whatever. So, there was some trash, like, overpiling it on the floor. So, he goes and he picks up a Heineken bottle and he cracks that shit on a garbage can and start walking towards me. Yeah. This nigga wanted believe it like so many things were going through my head like is this is this guy serious like is he really serious right now like is he really did he really just pick up a bottle and crack that shit and start walking towards me like i know that most people would be fucking scared but the first thing i felt was confusion i couldn't fathom the situation and then the second thing i felt was fear and then the third th third thing I felt was I wanted to smoke too. So, <laughs> I do be wanting to smoke. So, now, I, of course, I start backing up. So, I pull out my phone. I start calling the cops. And so, I'm going to be on a sidewalk. So, now, I walk into the middle of the street. Because I'm just saying in my head, like, all right, we in a two-way traffic main road. You know, if I'm on the sidewalk and he does something to me, um nobody would see and he could just dip and curve away or whatever but if i come into the main road where cars are driving and they see me come into the main road cars are going to start stopping slowing down or i can grab somebody and get the direction at this point there's nobody really around like there's a few people but not as close in the radius as we are to know what's happening so now i'm walking backwards and i'm like i'm calling the cops on you so go ahead keep fucking walking behind me keep fucking walking do what you gotta do with that bottle all right so we're calling the cops so he walking towards me he cursing he cursing he walking towards me so now this guy this guy comes around the corner and he like and and you know what like i would never i'm always I'm always going to be grateful for that guy coming around the corner because if he didn't come around the corner, I don't know what could have happened because I was heated. This guy was heated and I don't know if I was ready to back down. I know that I was calling the cops, but I know that if he would have put me in a tight position where it would have been me or him, it would have been him. And I probably still would have got hurt in the process, but it would have definitely been him because I walk around with my shit. You see on my keys? I have them. Do I have my keys right? I don't have my keys. I don't have my um car keys right now. They ain't a freaking um on my keys. I have a pink pepper spray keychain. I have a pink key. And it looks like a key, but when you press the button, it flips up and it's a knife. And I walk around with those two things on my on my chain, on my key chain. And something I also want to get is like, it goes in your key chain. It looks like a brass knuckle with fangs. And it goes in your key chain. And I want to get that too. Because I'm not playing. I'm not playing in these streets. I'm not. I feel like people are very fucking crazy. I feel like people don't know their place. I feel like... I'm, I hope to never have this happen, but if I'm ever in a situation where it's me or another motherfucker, I'm not waiting for cops. It's, it's, it's self-defense, and I'm just going to do what I have to do, and, like, that's just what it is. Like, I'm not even encouraging violence right now, but, like, I see a lot of victims, a lot of people fall victims, and I don't want to be, I don't want to be a victim. 
I don't want to be attacked. I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be in any type of those situations. So, you know. Yeah, so the guy came around the corner. And I felt like the guy was a little scared too. Because he wasn't talking to the guy. He saw what was going on. And he kept telling me, like, walk. Kept pushing me, walk, 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 walk. He never said anything to the guy. He just kept pushing me, walk, walk, walk. So now, the guy with the bottle... I don't know if he felt intimidated now that even though the guy wasn't talking to him or telling him anything, he probably felt like, all right, now this guy's in the middle of it. So it, even if he did try to launch at me or attack me, there's a third party and it wouldn't, and it's a man, so it's not going to go in his favor. Fucking pussy. Oh, pussy. How dare you? You're a man. You don't even know me. And I'm pretty sure you have a mother and sisters. And for my number, you're going to pull out a weapon on me? Are you fucking crazy who raised you where do you come from who do they raise these men like i always used to think this like is there like a a hogwarts harry potter bus that comes pick up these fucking niggas every night and take them to the hogwarts fucking school of ain't shit motherfuckers and they in one-on-one -on -one class or do the fucking wrong shit like i just i don't know son like it's just it really, it really, 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 really bothers me that, like, a black man, a black man would do this to a black woman because I've been disrespected by black men a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, especially when it comes to this, like, whole scooping me up, bagging me game, because I'm very, like, oh, no, no, I'm not interested type thing, but what pains me is that every time I'm disrespected by a black man in the street, I just be wondering, like, do you... Do you do this when you see white women walk in? You know, would you would you do that to a white woman? You know, you wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Because they will. You you know what comes with that, and and that's why I feel like you know, people, especially men, should always stand up for women when women are being disrespected by men, because a lot of especially in the like African American community, because when it comes to race, they know better. Why disrespect us and nobody else? That shit is corny. So, yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't respect, I don't respect a lot of black men for that. Like, especially I'm a whole fucking stranger. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're like, you don't even know me. But like, whatever. So now, yeah. So the guy kept pushing me to walk, and finally. Finally, this freaking asshole walks away, too, and goes his opposite direction, finally. Like, it took all of that for you to leave me alone? A girl that doesn't want you, a girl that doesn't belong to you, a girl that's a stranger to you, a girl that you don't know? It took you that long? My trip to Peppers went from, like, mind you, I was already there for mad long because if anybody know how Peppers is, you stand on the line for a while. Because the food is already made, but it's like them niggas is back there fetching goat and chicken or something because I don't understand. Like, the food be right here and all you gotta do is serve it, but it can never be served in a timely manner. Because, I don't know. I don't understand, but whatever. So, you be online for a while. Like, the line be going out the door. And at this point, in this situation, I was actually at the door when I stood online. So, it actually took me about 15 minutes to walk there because I'm taking my time. I'm walking slow. I'm on the phone. And it took me about like 30 minutes to order and get my food. And then it took me another 20 to 30 minutes to deal with this fucking situation. Like, now I get home, I'm shook. I'm tight because I feel like somebody just fucked with me. I'm hungry. My food is cold. My festival is cold. My festival that I just paid $2 for. $2 a festival and I got two of them. And both of them are cold. Yeah. Yeah, I'm tight. I'm telling you. So, and then my mom is like calling me like, where are you at? Are you okay? What's wrong? What's happening? So like, and I didn't even want to tell her what happened because my mom is a very scary woman. And like, I tell her something like this happened to me once. Now, every time I go outside, she's on radar, like heart pumping. She's stressed. Every time something bad happens to like me and my brothers and sisters, my mom's heart don't sit. So I don't like to tell her everything bad that happens. So... I was just like, yeah, you know, like I had saw my friend and I got caught up or whatever. I'm on my way or whatever. So by the time the cops answered, like, like, 
I had called, remember I told you I was on the phone with the cops. I had called the cops there in like the time before the guy walked around the corner. And I was telling them what was going on and what intersection I was at. And then um, the operating lady, she stayed on the line the whole time. So by the time I, I actually turned the corner. So what I ended up doing is instead of going through the cut blocks to go home, I walked all down the main street to another main street and stood there with the cops on the phone and called the cab and took the cab two blocks to my house. That's how fucking shook I was. Be <laughs> I was shook. Like even though I'm rude and facing, I don't know what that man was willing or capable of doing to me. Like this is a whole complete stranger. Like so, and I didn't know if he was gonna be willing to follow me even more or if he would have curved the other way, watch how I'm going, curve the other way, wait for the other guy to go in and come meet me. Like, I didn't know what was going on so i just had to like do the safest thing possible and i was tight because even though the cop the even though the cab went like literally like two three blocks their minimum charge is seven dollars so i had to pay seven dollars like when i could have walked like five minutes but like it was for my safety or whatever but that was a whole nother like meal jerk chicken and festival right there like what's going on what are you what are you saying what are you saying yeah, so that's what happened um that's the story and that's how it ends but what i do want to say i think i need some more lip gloss though but what i do want to say is that like now that that situations like that have changed me to the point that like when i'm going outside like i don't like i dead look like a hobo like I'm not even going to say hobo, that sounds bad. That situation really changed me, and it changed me in a way to, like, now when I'm going outside, like, I don't dress up, I don't nothing. Like, I go outside, like, looking like, like, I, I don't have no home, no nothing. Like, I go outside looking crazy. It was so crazy that I live in the suburbs now. I don't even live in the city area anymore. And, um... I still I still move like that because just because it's like when I am going out and I'm dressed up like if you ever see me on Instagram or like my photos or whatever make sure you follow me on Instagram y'all and put it down right here in the chat or down below but if you ever see my photos I'm a person I like to dress skin out like that's just my body like it doesn't mean that like there's anything wrong with my character or that it reflects on my character like oh because I'm dressed in a certain way like I'm freaky and all this stuff like that no I just I just love the demeanor I love the appearance like if you ever see like my photos or whatever like you'll see that like I'm somebody who dressed really revealing and it's not because like I'm somebody that is like open to just like doing anything and being a part of anything it's just like I love it has nothing to do with my character like dressing like that has nothing to do with my character it's just I love the aesthetic I love it I'm a person that I've been confided in my own in my I've been like locked up in my own body like growing up as a obese child and being teased and now that I feel like I'm happy with myself. I just, I, I want to experience like being skinned out and feeling comfortable and just being comfortable in my own skin. But it doesn't mean that a man could disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm a woman with, I'm a woman with a whole two business degrees. So you can't disrespect me because of what I have on. Like what I have on is my choice to express myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I really don't like about it. And I don't go out with like like when i'm when i'm going out dressed up revealing i'm in a car i'm at my house in the car to where i'm going where i'm going in the car to my house i don't walk around i don't move around i don't do any of that because i feel like it's just dangerous out here and you just don't know who you're gonna meet and people just they like one thing i hate is walking through a crowd or walking near men and then they touch me they grab my hand like i don't know if your hands were on your balls i don't know what you was just doing all this bacteria you don't even know where i belong to you don't even know anything about me you just put your hands on me why are you putting your hands on me? Why are you touching me? Oh, that shit hurts. That it hurts me. Like it, it makes my blood boil. It makes my blood fucking boil. Like don't touch me. Like I would do carnival, and that's not even like doing carnival anymore. I'll do carnival, and I'm gonna. I spend the whole time catching enough attitude. Like don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. And it's not like. 
like one of my friends got mad at me about it like oh you can't be in vicinities like this and expect people not to touch you or whatever yeah yes i can bitch i can tell you not to touch me a person can talk to me a person can be like hey how you doing can i have a dance or whatever a person can't come and grab my ass with his hands and do all that stuff that's just my comfort just because i'm in a g-string don't mean you could do that and that's just what it is and that just go back to like my character and the way i dress and how it differs so um and that's why i want a lot of people to watch my youtube and get to know me because a lot of people see my pictures on the gram and on social media and they think one thing about me and they don't even understand who i am as a whole as a person so yeah so now i just dress like a hobo when i'm going out let me stop saying that i just dress like i don't got no home no home training nothing when i'm going out just so that i don't get like the atten unwanted attention that I don't want like when I go out and I'm dressed up like and I'm not even talking like this to like at myself but like I get a lot of attention like a lot like it's crazy because like I f I'm so insecure I come from a very big insecure place and like instead of going from like not having any attention to normal attention I get more attention than I can even handle and sometimes it's a little overwhelming because sometimes I just want to be somewhere without people staring at me or trying to make conversation with me or just like like I'm an introvert already so I really don't like to meet people like that's just I it's just I, it's bad to say but I'm just scared of people like I'm scared of the world I say this all the time like in my videos like I'm really like I, not scared in a way like I'm frightened like or scary but like I just don't know what the world consists of and I've just seen a lot and been through a lot and I just don't want to go through anymore so I just avoid um but the message I really want to give um to my woman viewers especially is just like be very careful like you know I'm a person that I'm very spicy, very feisty, but, you know, pick your battles because, um, you don't want to be in a messed up situation because you wanted to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody who was not worth it. You don't want to be in a situation where you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody who is not worth it and you end up losing out, you end up getting arrested or you end up getting, you know, physically hurt or something end up happening because... You know, you wanted to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody who just was not worth it. Just walk away. Just walk away. Like, a lot of times, like, that night taught me to walk away. Because, like, who knows? Who knows what this man would have done? And, um, so all that arguing and that spiciness when a nigga try to talk to you, just, like, simmer it down a little bit. Like, simmer it down because guys, especially guys that can't take no for an answer, they have very bitch ways okay so they're gonna come at you like a bitch they're gonna move like a bitch they're gonna come at you like a bitch so and a lot of these men are just like disgusting so um definitely take that into heed like make sure you have like weapons with you when you're going outside i'm sorry i'm encouraging this but you need to have weapons with you it is what it is like it's you or them you always gotta choose you um what else do I have? What else is another message? Really, like, try not to walk outside late by yourself. Like, especially if you're in a city area, like, where I come from. Like, don't be outside by yourself. Like, a lot of dangerous stuff, like, happened. Like, I would never forget, like, one year I was at Juve, which is, like, a carnival, pre-carnival thing. And, um, I was the Grenadian band on Empire. I remember that. <laughs> And um, the story is so sad. And we heard gunshots. And we heard gunshots. And everybody ran. And the gunshots were so near. They were probably like half a block away. And when we end up hearing um, what happened. It was actually a guy. Who shot a girl my age. At that time I was probably about like 21 or 22. He shot her in the eye. Um, because she didn't want to dance with him. Um, this was her friend reported and they end up the police end up catching him the next morning unfortunately and he lived right near my house <sighs> boy he lived right near that spot <laughs> boy but um it was sad because a young girl had to lose her life because she, she 
she said no and it wasn't wrong that she said no but sometimes i might wonder like did she say no in a hostile way that made him feel like his ego was hurt because that's a and that's what happens too a lot of times like a lot of times when men re a lot of times when men react like that to you when you like shut them down it's because their ego is hurt like their ego be hurt like they be feeling like what a lot of times when men act like that, when they're shut down, trust and believe is because their ego is hurt. Like, they be like, what? You don't want to talk to me? They be thinking they some hot shit or some girls be giving them a certain type of energy and then you come and you not. And they be feeling hurt or they don't be getting no bitches at all. So, you know, when their egos be hurt and their egos are high, they'll do anything. Like, people do a lot of damage for their own personal like ego trust me like so that's just a sad and somber story and um it was just crazy that i was in the vicinity to like experience that because when they were getting people to like clear out from the area i saw her laying down on the floor like you know but i didn't know she was dead i just saw all the like paramedics around her and you know they're supposed to do that even though she had a, a gunshot wound to the head which is something that's very fatal they're supposed to try everything that they're supposed to do to like resuscitate you so i guess that's what they were doing for her which made me feel like you know she she didn't pass away but she actually did and that's just unfortunate because she was in college and everything like we like i was in college at that time and it just made me feel like at that point what if what if it was me that night like, God forbid, like, I don't wish that on nobody, definitely not myself, but what if it was me that was rejecting this guy because that was just how I moved at that point in my time, like, you know? And then it was carnival, so I had revealing clothes on, so it was something to attract men's eyes anyways, and it's just, like, it scares me, it gives me chills, like, I'm getting goosebumps, like, talking about it right now. But, um, yeah, so that was one of my crazy story times. And um, I have a lot more story times. I find myself like all the time. Like I be like, I have like a whole book. And I be like, which one am I going to talk about? Which one am I going to talk about? But like I be having to be in a mood to talk about certain story times. Or the story is not going to come out like naturally or with all the full information or whatever. Sometimes I don't remember everything or whatever. But like I only like to talk about stuff that I've gotten over already and I've learned a lesson from because there are a lot of things believe it or not that happened years ago that i'm still not over that like if i speak about it or think about it it will trigger certain memories so i try every story time that you hear is stuff that like i'm completely over and it won't trigger anything because i don't want to mess up my mood thinking or talking about a story that just didn't sit right with me because remember my story times are like mostly like negative things like i mean i have great positive story times but i don't think you guys want to hear that if you guys want to hear positive story times like drop it down in the comments below because i'll tell you about some great times i had which is you know what i'm i'm gonna tell you about some great times but you guys gotta watch it like don't just come here for the drama because i know y'all like drama y'all like y'all like, like drama but don't just come here for the drama come here for some good story times and i'm gonna give you guys some positive story times too but yeah so like all my story times and lessons learned i always want to give you guys a lesson out of my story times if you haven't watched my story times before i talked about my crazy friend who was recording me i talked about the lessons i learned from that about like you know keeping your space safe and not inviting everybody to your home um I talked about the story time where I was like, I went into being a side chick and I was very like in denial and just like gullible. Um, um, what else story time I had? Um, I think, I think those are, they might not just be the only two, but you know, my YouTube channel is new and I'm growing. So you guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning back in. Anybody who has not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so that you can get an update every time I upload a new video. Period. But, um, yeah, hit, a, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button so you can get a notification every time I upload. Make sure you share my videos, you guys. Like, share it, like it. Like, I want you guys to be a part of this, like, new YouTube family that I am trying to grow that i will grow and i just love the feedback um i love communicating with you guys and i just want you guys to stay in tune so 
Follow me on my Instagram where I post most of my pictures. Um, I don't really move a lot on Facebook. And, you know, so you guys can stay in tune. Remember, a lot of these pieces that I'm wearing for my videos, they're going to be a part of my sample sale. You know, because these are like pieces that are not even worn anywhere, okay? I've, you know, pieces that I kind of just thought about worked on executed and like i don't know what i want to do if i want to launch it if i want to do anything yet so they're going to be in my sample so so if you want to get your hands on some nice sample so custom day harris pieces make sure you stay tuned for my videos make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm done talking to you guys head off because i know i'll be rambling but thank you thank you thank you for into my channel and just keeping up with me you guys know i'm an introvert i just be at home handling business so this is the time i get to like talk to people like and i trust my youtube family you know what i'm saying more than i trust you know a lot of people <laughs> because you know i see strangers showing me a lot of love and i just want to give you guys love back so just stay tuned for my next video and yes if you guys like this fairy look and it was my first time doing it don't beat me up that's why i didn't do it on camera because it took me literally like two hours to do this because i've never really done cut creases before i've never really done face makeup before and i just kind of like was trying it out so i was making a lot of errors a lot of mistakes so if you guys do want to see a tutorial i think that now i'm a little good at it since i kind of like how it came out it came out beautiful and there are other things that i want to try with this whole fairy look and remember i told you guys i wanted to buy the ears but they weren't gonna come like for a long time and i really wanted to shoot this little fairy look so um yeah so when i do get the ears i'll do another look and if you guys want a tutorial on that just make sure you guys leave it in the comments down below i read all my comments i reply to all of them so i want to communicate with you guys just let me know okay so love you and stay safe during this quarantine stay at home so we can all stay